from me, Iswar Neupane, who is now in Destination Educational Hub and giving you uh, guidelines in this video. And I hope you are safe and sound staying at your own home. So, dear students, the days are passing. There is no any good news. Number of victims are increasing day by day. Focusing on our studies, and we have completed two and a half chapters. We have completed the plan did, and today also we are doing the remaining one. So at first we are going to discuss ACs. So how do you define how do you define species? So definition is this. species is the group. Okay, let me tell you a clear one, then it will be quite easy. Group of living beings which can interbreed B -R -E -E -D, which can interbreed and Reproduce and keep their population alive is called species. A group reproduce among themselves and keep their population alive is species. So, the branch of biology that deals with identification and classification of organisms is called taxonomy genus a group of closely two or more species is called genus then group of close related to discuss about differences between what are they first one is bryophytes and so in differences between how many differences you have to write? Two. So left hand side bryophytes, right hand side pteridophytes. Bryophytes. They do not have xylem and phloem. Pteridophytes. They have xylem and phloem. Bryophytes. Their body is thalloid. T H A L. Thalloid pteridophytes. Their body is different stem and leaves. Root, stem, and leaves. Example of bryophytes moss. And more example of pteridophytes fawn. Okay. Now, next question differences between algae and bryophytes. As usual, algae right inside bryophytes algae their body t h a l l u s algae yes. bryophyta plant body is l o i d next one algae they do not show alternation of genetic Generation, bryophytes, they show alternation of generation. Any strains? What? Example of algae is volvox, v o l v o x. Bryophyta, you can write moss. Next one is differences between gymnosperm and angiosperm. So, the differences between gymnosperm and angiosperm is discussed earlier. So it was in page number 302. We check it and write down. Okay. Next one is also we have given the differences between them in page number 302. It was discussed in previous day's lesson. So please check it and write down. Differentiate between pine and mango. So this pine and mango. 
is similar differences bimnus form and angi form so let me tell pine it mango it bears flowers pine xylem mango xylem vessels are present not only xylem xylem vessels you have right okay there is Let's give reason. Uh, here is given the classification of living beings is is not in is necessary. So what is the reason? The classification of living beings is necessary because it helps in evolution and it makes the study systematic and scientific. Clear? Number two, the bright. So the bryophytes are called amphibian plants because they need water for okay, students. Now we are discussing question number five. Classify the following characteristics of each is given. Now pearl box. How do you classify? Kingdom Plantia. Reason. algae type bulbox and write the characteristics of algae here kingdom plantae division bryophytes type is bryophyte so moss you have to write the characteristics of bryophyte This one is Lycopodium. How do you classify Lycopodium? Kingdom Plantae, Division Trachyta, then Subdivision Sub, and type Lycopodium. So write the characteristics of Trachyta here. Fine. Sub Kingdom. No, no. Kingdom Plantae, Division Trachyophyta, Subdiv Type Pine, and write two characteristics of Gymnosperm. It was discussed in previous lesson, so just Pistia, Pistia, yeah, Division Trachyophyta, Subdivision Angiosperm. Class Monocotyledon and type Pistia. Write the characteristics of Monocotyledon. P Kingdom Plantae Division Trachyophyta Subdivision and Dicotyledon. Type P. And write the characteristics of dicotyledon. Fawn and lycopodium belong to same. Soya bean and pea belongs to same. Wheat and pistia belongs to same. Bamboo also mon monocotyledon. <coughs> and lemna monocotyledon. So you must remember kingdom. There is class type. In yesterday's chart, it was discussed. That you can get the knowledge easily. Now, students, we are discussing next question. Identify the group of the plants. These are the characteristics given below and mention one example of each group. These are naked, bear cones instead of flowers. So. Um, you have to find out the group. What is the gymnosperm? Gymnosperm, and is pine. P i n e. Second question is here. Bear flowers. Seeds contain two cotyledon. So two means di di cotyledon. Cotyledon. An example of di cotyledon. You can give the example mustard. Or P, okay. 
grown and need water for fertilization. So, what is the group that is bryophytes? An example is moss, M-O-S-S. -S. Dear students, we are discussing the exercise. Now, next, answer the following questions. So, first question is enlist the characteristics of kingdom. So, can you write the characteristics of kingdom plant? They are, so in the first day's class we have discussed, they are multicellular and made up of eukaryotes. They contain chlorophyll. They are autotrophic. These are the characteristics. Plantia. Question number two is, what are the principal basis of classification? The classification are, is given kingdom, phylum, order, family, genus, and species. Question number three, characteristics of pteridophytes. So what are the characteristics of pteridophytes? Number one, the plant body is root, stem, and leaves. Number second, they contain xylem and phloem. Next one, they reproduce sporulation or they reproduce by spores, you can write, they reproduce by spores. Question number four, what are the advanced characteristics of angiosperms? What are the advanced characteristics of angiosperms? Characteristics of angiosperms are, they bear flowers so you can write to they will be a flower flowers seeds which are enclosed inside done okay what are the two characteristics of pine due to which it is not placed under the subdivision angiosperms? Why pine is not kept in angiosperms? It is not kept in angiosperms because flowers, it does not bear flowers. Generation or it reproduces by asexual as well as sexual method. Done. Next question is here draw a label diagram of fawn and mustard is given. So for page number. 300 and for mustard page number 302 okay just look at there draw well. submit to me as soon as possible okay strengths you can do it you are capable so complete and submit to me as soon as possible thank you have a good day